Hey, this is George with Melnix Automotive. Here I'm doing a review for Autel. They have Autolink AL539 that looks just like this. It's a beautiful tool and I'm going to demonstrate what it could do. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't do everything, um, but it's a, it's a cheap tool, it's affordable, and it's going to do a lot of things that everyday uh everyday mechanics would use it for or even if you're buying car you just want to have something with you so you could check make sure the vin number of the vehicle matches and stuff like that um you could check if the emissions are if the emissions are ready uh for a vehicle a lot of times you might come buy a used car and then somebody might reset check engine light and then a uh, day later you have a problem check engine light comes back on so this tool will be able to tell you if the vehicle is ready for emissions or not and also this is a perfect uh, multimeter voltmeter continuity test uh, circuit tester stuff like that it will do your charging system uh, it will check your check engine light and, and things like that it's a very nice tool like I said it's Autolink AL539 comes in a box like this and what's nice they give you a case so you don't have to keep this box they give you a case like this um, and inside the case uh, they have owner's manual and they give you the probes which is nice to check your fuses or check your wiring if you have a broken wire um, it's a very very nice tool very nice tool and then you have your owner's manual so I'm not gonna get in too much in owner's manual because I know how to use this tool but uh, I'm gonna power it up and I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do also what's nice about this tool it will do uh, your starter it will check your starter if your starter is good and it will also check your charging system and in just a few seconds we're gonna go ahead and uh, use this tool to check this vehicle starting system we're gonna check for emissions and we're also going to check our charging system and then I'm also gonna show you real quick how to use it as a multimeter so it's inexpensive I'll throw the link in my description below but uh, what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna plug this tool in into my OBD2 and I'm gonna power it up so they give you this cable that plugs in right on top okay and it's a nice long cable that goes into our OBD2 and then this is a Subaru the OBD2 is located right in the bottom so I'm gonna plug it in takes me a second to find it okay so I have it all plugged in as you can see my tool already powered up I try to get it in here so we can get a better picture of it so it's nice color screen um, you could use up and down buttons and okay so what are we gonna do right now I'm gonna turn my ignition on And first, what I'm going to check, I'm going to check for the emissions. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to connect to the vehicle. See, emission readiness. So what it's going to do, and let's check all the systems. And as you can see, which is nice, it gives us a nice overview. It says DTC 0, pending DTCs. We also have a 0 pending DTC, so there's no trouble codes that are pending in the system. Um, and as you can see, catalytic converter, all the good stuff, fuel, all the O2 sensors, heater, EGR, all that stuff is in check. So this is nice to have if you're purchasing a used vehicle. Um, like I said, it's inexpensive, but you could plug this in and you could know right away if somebody wiped out check engine light prior you coming and viewing the vehicle. So that's one thing. Another cool option that we have, and we're just going to use escape button to go back. Uh, we could do a start system. Well, I'm going to go down the list and I'm just using up and down arrows and I'm going to hit OK. So as you can see, we have a starter test because, uh, you know, and then we have a, a charging, like a charge alternator test. So if you have a bad alternator or a bad battery, you don't know what's going on. This will test it for you. You don't need to go to a garage and have this thing done because you could do it yourself. So in just a minute, we're going to perform a starter test just to see if we have a good starter okay for the starter test uh, now it gives you clear instructions it says uh, turn off all vehicle loads make sure the ignition is on and as you can see my ignition is on it's ready to go 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit OK. Very simple, very easy to follow. It says start the engine. So right now I'm going to start my engine. Checking normal. And there you go. So it gives you, gives you nice green message. It says cranking normal, crank volt, and then uh, volt present 50%, crank time 21 milliseconds. Which, and then you can just hit OK to restart the procedure. We're not going to do that. Next procedure, we're going to check our alternator to see if our alternator is giving a good charge. So I'm going to turn the car off. I'm going to turn the ignition back on. Now we're going to do a charge test. All you have to do, just uh, hit an arrow down. And it gives us clear instructions. It says turn off all vehicle loads. Rev the engine at 2,000 RPM for 15 seconds. So what we're doing right now, I'm going to go ahead and... Rev my engine for about 15 seconds at 2000 RPM. About 15 seconds. So I'm holding my RPM. I'm going to hit OK. It says hold the engine RPM, which I'm doing. And it says to turn on the fan. I got my fan going. And it's gonna tell us to put our high beams on. And I put my high beams on. And now I'm gonna hit OK. Normal. See, we have a beautiful 14.23 uh, volts. And that's done. So we know for sure we have a good charging system. So next I'm gonna show you this thing, how it works um, as an OBD2 reader. So you can check for your trouble codes in the system if you have a trouble codes you just go escape it's inexpensive but it's a nice tool to have if you you don't have to keep it just for one car you could always check out your buddy's car or if you have a check engine light come on you don't have to really run to a mechanic right away you could do a quick test yourself but what's nice about this once you go in here it's going to connect to the vehicle It says, erase previously stored data to save data from uh, this test. Yes, because we used this on previous vehicle. We don't want to save that. All right. What's nice, you could read code. You could uh, do live data. You could uh, look for um, misfiring tests. You could do component tests. Like, you could check your EVAP system if you would like. Um, it does quite a few things. Uh, vehicle information this is a nice thing sometimes people uh, change engine or a computer in a car and they tell you it's original which nice uh, option it gives you you can get in there and uh, you can hit OK and it's going to give you you could look for for a VIN number of the vehicle so you'll know right away if the engine or computer has been changed uh, so in this case we're gonna click on a, a vehicle ID number and check this out you have a VIN, so now you can take this VIN number and you could verify it with the VIN number that's on the title or on your door post. And as you can see, it matches. So it's a nice little thing you could do with this computer here. It's uh, made by Autel, and uh, we're gonna go back out and I'm gonna show you how to check for OBD2 uh, trouble codes. So if you have any uh, codes in the system, in my case I don't, but you would go in here, read codes, and you could read stored codes or, or pending codes, so stored codes, and no codes are stored. But if there would be, it would give you the code number, it would have been showing there. So we're going to get out of that option, and I'm going to show you another cool thing this thing has. So let's say you have a code and you need a little bit more information on it, you could very easily, um, you could very easily find yeah you want to exit here yes I'm gonna show you another cool option you could do it says we have a option here it's a DTC lookup which gives you an option where you could check any code you want so we're just gonna use your our the arrows up and down side to side so for example let's say p0031 if you don't know what the code means so you're just gonna go up two three so we have p0031 code we're gonna hit enter 
and we have a description of the code it's ho2 sensor heaters control circuit low bank one sensor one any code you put in there will give you description uh, and things like that so they will also give you a little bit more information on it if you if you uh, want to read some more information so that's that next option that I'm going to show you would be a multimeter and that's also another option you need to unplug your OBD2 for that you can unplug it from the bottom or you could just unplug it from the top. I'm gonna, in my case, I'm going to unplug it from the top and show you how this thing works as a multimeter. So we have all the ports here on the bottom uh, and our all our all all the stuff that, we, that I'm going to do, it, it's pretty easy and you could do it yourself and you want to go into multimeter, multimeter option. So it, it, it's a digital comes up on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this in a second. All right, now I'm going to show you how this multimeter works. Um, we have two probes, black and red, and we have we have four ports here. We have four amps, and this will do 20 amps max, and the, for voltage, we'll do 30 volts max and stuff like that. We have our ohms and voltages here. So we have a black side that goes where the black port is and then the red is where the red you just push it in and what's nice this thing could be charged on the side there's a port right there and they provide you with the USB and uh, the other one that charges charges this thing here so it gets charged up real nice so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna click on multimeter hit OK and uh, it has auto we have all the good stuff right here all the options right here so i'm going to uh leave it there at auto for now we're going to go and check our battery so let's say if you want to check your fuses or if you want to check your battery this is a digital nice little unit it also has a nice kickstand on the back you could uh if you're working on the bench it'd be easy be easy to do so we're gonna check our our voltage on our battery so I'm gonna stick it in see I'm using only one hand but I could I could see if I could get my multimeter closer here so you guys could see because I need to use one hand to hold my camera and I need to hold my leads so this is my negative this is my positive make sure you have a good connection and as you can see we have 12.44 volts um, and I'm holding my probes with one hand it's a little hard to do that in videotape and next I'm going to show you how you could use this tool to check if you have bad fuses instead of pulling all the fuses out you could very easily um, check your fuses with the leads without uh, pulling the fuses out very quickly you could blow through all the fuses in a matter of minutes so we're gonna go down to this option right here with continuity okay and watch what happens so if I touch my leads together you can see we're getting a we're getting a signal and it's beeping when I'm connecting my leads okay so same thing so if the fuse is good it's supposed to beep if the fuse is broken or burned up, it's gonna be quiet. So I'm gonna open my fuse box right here and I'm gonna demonstrate it for you in a second. Um, so all the fuses have two pins on top right here. All of them except these. These you have to pull it or you could look through the window to see if the link is broken or not. But in here, I can't check the link. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna see if I could uh, have my camera here. All I'm going to do, I'm going to have to put one lead into one side and the other lead into another side. There you go. And I'm going to do one more. And I'm getting a beep. So that tells me you have a good fuse. I'll see if I could. I wish I had a little help today. but So let's say this fuse. I'm putting one terminal of the probe in a one hole and then the other one. I just lost that one. It's making it a lot harder when you hold in a phone with one hand trying to do it with the other hand. There you go. You can see I'm connected and I'm getting a good signal. That means we're getting good continuity. 
So you could do the same thing on wiring if you're doing diagnostics. Um, you can just uh, do, you know, connect it to one side of the wire and then find the wire on the another side and see if you're getting a good signal. Um, other than that, it's just a nice little tool to have. Once again, thank you for watching. This was George with Melnix Automotive. I'll have the description for this tool and link in my uh, link below in my description. Once again, thanks for watching. This was George with Melnix Automotive.